covered so many events. So it took us a ex- really long period of time. I'm talking like um, six or seven months. Not a long time in the doc world. People spend years doing it, but that's not the way we work. Um, but the most curious thing was to discover who Walter's friends were. You know, uh, George Clooney, Mickey Hart from The Grateful Dead, Robin Williams. And so we're, we're shooting this, and I'm talking to the team, and they're coming back with these amazing stories. And the, uh, the main producer, a woman who, who works with us now named Nancy Kramer, who's really very talented, came in and said, you know, it seems odd not to put this on while Cronkite's alive to kind of celebrate this kind of great guy. And I looked at her and I said, are you crazy? I, I'm going to call the West Coast and, and say, hey, do you want to put a special on about Walter Cronkite, who's 90? And, um, but believe it or not, it was the uh, year that Bob Barker was retiring from The Price is Right, and CBS was doing a lot of uh, uh, tributes to Barker. And they said, well, if you could get the Cronkite show ready in three weeks, we'll air it and make it a celebration of his life. <laughs> well, of course, then my team wanted to kill me because three weeks was not anywhere near enough time. But we added a bunch of editors, and we put on a show using kind of different sounds, and it was called That's the Way It Is, Remembering Walter Cronkite at 90. And, you know, Walter had known we were assembling this stuff, and he didn't say anything because he figured we were doing his obit. But when it aired, he called me from Paris, and A, he was thrilled with the show, and he was really very, very grateful. He said, you know, now my grandkids really understand it. And it was, for the most part, this same show that we were that we fluffed up for the obit, but it had a different context. The sound was a live sound. It was about him in, in his present state and all the things he had done. So, but when Walter called me, and he's so complimentary, and he, he stopped for a second, he said, is that my obit? And I, and I laughed, and I said, are you dead? And he said, no. I said, did it air? And he said, yeah. I said, well, then it's not your obit. And uh, he laughed. And, of course, uh, we then took to redoing it, not totally, but the structure was the same, but really, really mining for different sounds.